If you've been following along my video series on how to create a full network using OpenSense, part three and four of that series was configuring the network switch and the wireless access point. I've been starting to create alternate versions of the original series to do different switch vendors and wireless access point vendors so that you could see how to configure them with different products. And so in the, in the last video I did with the Unify switch, I'm gonna continue where I left off with that essentially and still be using the Unify switch, but now I'm gonna use a wireless access point that's also a Unify wireless access point and show you how to configure that in the uh, Unify controller software. Because the, the nice thing about you know, if you're staying in that same ecosystem, you can use the same uh, controller to, to configure both of these. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just uh, show you how I actually have it connected. Just, it's really simple because I already have everything else plugged in from where I did the switch video. So if you wanna refer back to that video, you can see how I configured the network switch for Unify. But now this one is gonna be about the configuring the wireless access point. So we just have one connection going on because it's power of ethernet. We're gonna plug it into port five here. And on the last video, Basically, any of the switches that need to do VLAN trunking, we don't have to change any of the configuration with Unify as a recap uh, from the last video um, because all of the all the ports on Unify actually are trunked by default. So basically, they allow all VLANs by default. And if you don't want certain VLANs to go across certain ports, you actually have to exclude them or only include certain ones. Right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the Unify controller screen, and then I'm going to just set up the, the VLANs for this wireless access point. It's actually pretty simple. Since we're using um, the configuration we did from the last video where we did a Unify switch, it'll actually simplify the process just a little bit because we don't have to go and create the VLANs inside of the Unify controller for the wireless access point because we already have them set up for the switch. So I'm gonna assume that that step has already been done, but if not, I'll show you where they're at and you'll have to create them in there. So now we're on the Unify controller dashboard. You can see I'm on a self-hosted controller. And if we go to Unify Devices, the last time I, I did the Unify switch, you can see I, now I've added a U6 Pro to the uh, network here. So if we go to um, the settings, what I'm going to show you is first is where we configure the VLAN so they'll be ready to go when you create your Wi-Fi networks. So if you click on the networks tab, you'll see that I have my networks I created um, in the switch part of the video, which is, um, you know, the same as we've been following along with the example that I've been using for this whole entire series. So we have a DMZ network with VLAN 10, user network 20. So you can see right here, IoT 30, guest 40, and IPCAM 50. So these, these are our networks. So you just create, click on create a new virtual network, and that's how you add a new VLAN. And so um, what we're gonna do now is actually create the Wi-Fi networks that we're gonna use. So in my example, I have a Wi-Fi network for uh, four of the five networks. So the, the DMZ network is the only network where we're not creating a Wi-Fi network. So what we're gonna do is create a uh, Wi-Fi network and the name is actually your SSID. Um, they don't really call it that, but that's basically what it is, HNG. I wanna call it user, okay? And then we just give it a password. And the network we're gonna use is actually the user network. So this is the user VLAN that we have created and we can, we're just gonna leave all this as the default, but if you wanna change these settings down here, you can hit manual and then say add Wi-Fi network. And we're gonna create another one. We're gonna do this for each of the four networks just so you can see how you can create, because you can create up to four networks with uh, Unify. Uh, some other wireless access points I think can do up to eight, but um, just keep in mind for this, um, you can only do four. So, okay, make sure you pick the IoT network and hit add Wi-Fi. We're gonna do another one. HNG, this will be guest network. Okay, and then we scroll down to the guest network, hit add Wi-Fi network, and then the last one, HNG, score IP cam. Okay, one, two. Then make sure we pick IP cam, add Wi-Fi network. Okay, all right, so now that we created the Wi-Fi networks, we actually need to go over to the Unify devices and you'll see it says it's getting ready. So after some time, you'll see that it will stay up to date and it won't be, you know, it'll have all the wireless networks provisioned on that wireless access point or any other ones if you have uh, all of them deploying the same networks. So once you have that done, we're gonna actually switch over now to a client on the network so that we can actually test out if we're switching between the networks and see if we get the, the proper IP address. So now I'm on the computer that I'm gonna to use to test the Wi-Fi networks out to see if I, all my VLANs are set up correctly between the networks. So let's go up here and enable the wireless. 
I have it set to the user network right now just to save a little bit of time connecting to it. Um, as you can see, it shows a question mark because I'm not connected to the internet, but it should obtain an IP address within the user network. And as you can see, we have a .20 IP address down here. So we're in the, in the uh, user network. So now let's go up here and switch to the IoT network. So as you can see, it shows a question mark again, and I'm on the IoT network here. And so let's uh, check our IP address again. As you can see, we're now in the .30 network. So you can see that our VLANs are now actually working properly. Uh, for each of our wireless networks. I didn't test every single one, but basically you just follow that same process and you can check uh, each network to make sure you're getting an IP address that's in your network. And now you, you know you're part of that VLAN because it's, it's able to reach, um, go through the network switched. It's getting an IP address from OpenSense from DHCP. So that, that's a good indication that we have all the configuration uh, set up correctly for VLANs. So as you can see, it's actually pretty simple to set up VLANs per wireless network uh, in, in Unify, especially if you already have your VLANs set up in, in your Unify controller software for your network switch. You can just reuse those same VLAN uh, configurations when you select them from the dropdown when you create your Wi-Fi network. So you just create however many Wi-Fi networks that you want for your different networks. And you can create up to four with Unify. And once you get start getting past three or four anyway, you're, you're probably going to start congesting your Wi-Fi network if you do too many. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have Unify products, then how to set up uh, your network using OpenSense. So until next time, I'll see you later.